pitcher driving the legs. Playing the game from the shoulders up and, and recognizing the zone defense. Sit down right in that hole. Just break off whatever route you had. Seven touchdown drives and 38 possessions. Has another one early in this ball game. Has BC with the lead. He'll wait now, flip it out to the sideline. Hatcher cuts back and steps out of bounds in front of the BC sideline. Darius Pickett there to help him, but Vernon Adams Jr. is dialed in right now. Sets up second and ten. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but he certainly paid the price. Four man rush. Adams gets it away. Completed first down. Keon Hatcher, nice little move that time to send his body across the first down marker. That will do it through three quarters of play with his first down call. EA looks to throw, quickly slipping on the grass. Vernon Adams Jr. goes here, pressure on, man coverage, he's got him beat to the edge, into the end zone, touchdown Lions! Eon Hatcher for the first time in 2023. He beats the blitzer. Deficit, two score game, 10.05 remaining in the fourth. Don't go anywhere. So now backed up on their own eight yard line, second and 10, down 11. VA hits his back foot, looks down the middle to Hatcher, up in the air, big collision, and he held on to the football. There's a reason that they haven't lost this year, and this is one of them. This, watch this catch. Man, and then he sticks with it. 25. Taken cleanly at the 21 by Hatcher, who gets popped before he could get to the 30. A couple weeks ago for 68 yards, huge part of this BC offense. Evans now, second and 10, right over the middle, back to Hatcher, he's got it and he's on his feet. Hatcher to 40, the race is on, down to the 30, and they eventually track him down and take him down, C.J. Rebus. Moncrief was behind him, Williams tried to take him down. Three yards per carry so far this season. He'll clear out here, empty backfield for Evans, looking for a first down, guns it in there to Hatcher. He hangs on. To my mind if they connected on something like that. Here's Evans now. Up in the pocket, has a completion down to the 50, and that'll be enough for another first down back. Evans, with some time, gets it away, has a completion just over midfield. As Dane Evans once again goes to Hatcher, his third catch of the ball game. It's interesting sort of coach's tree in the converted West Coast offense. Evans. Wow, excellent job. I wasn't sure Hatcher went down and got that, but he does. 235 and two touchdowns. Gets this one away to Hatcher, hauls it in at midfield. Tripped up just past there, but another catch for Hatcher. Certainly appeared to be a clean hit from that angle. Now Big Hill coming after Davis, gets it away. He's got Hatcher again, stays on his feet, spin move down to the 30. Big Hill at the line of scrimmage freed himself up on the blitz with a spin move to beat his blocker and then Hatcher with a couple of nice pirouettes on the run after the catch. Second and four here, five-man rush, Adams down the field for Hatcher and he's got it! Another big one, this time to Hatcher and that's his first catch of the ball game. Is it going to get them time, give them, they need time to get back in their rhythm, get time to get that accuracy in the and the timing of some of these routes not so for VA right now tonight in this first quarter inside the 10 again looking to tack on a few more from the Calgary 7 Adams over the middle touchdown Hatcher BC Lions walking all over the stamp Peters here in the first quarter on the edge Hatcher working With McInnes, one goes on the out, the other on the post. A little hesitation from the Calgary secondary, and that's all Vernon Adams needed. Both because of how the team played last week, but also because of Dane Evans' injury. He did suffer a fracture, fractured rib. He's still having a tough time twisting and breathing, but he hopes to be back in the next week or two. Hatcher all the way down to the 45, and this 
with a very nice play from Vernon Adams. And then he told us it's the first time in his career in college or high school or anything that he's had to wear a brace, but he's not showing any ill effect from it because he's got some great movement back there, made it up on the way, and a nice little move by Hatcher in the inside cut. Unfortunately for them, they trail 20 to 3. Adams, a ton of time, looks down the field for Hatcher, and he holds it in again. Keon Hatcher, have yourself a day. Dead on accurate from VA, and it just allows Hatcher to a little bit of lean to get Kobe Williams to stay on that outside leverage because he knows that he's going to get led right. Looks to be throwing here again. Three-man rush over the middle. Oh, oh, Hatcher oh. gunned that one through a few bodies, didn't he? Come on. 151 yards in the game for Hatcher. Back to him again. Has the catch. And he had nowhere to go as Nick Taylor wrapped him up immediately. One-on-one -on -one at the bottom of your screen working there against Clark. Adams goes the other way to Hatcher for his first catch of the game. Takes it just inside the 20. Seven-yard loss. Adams over the middle. Hatcher goes down and gets it. At the 30, slides underneath it with two seconds on the clock. Moncrief 42 at the top left corner of your screen, and there's that soft spot. But what an accurate throw to protect us. We got it. We got it straight now. Four years with yes. the Lions. Now here's Adams. He's got a completion, and that is a critical completion for Adams. And there's Hatcher, 16 yards, his second longest reception. Hatcher on the inside. Change motion with Lucky Whitehead, pushes to the out on Micah Tights. And Coach Craig Dickinson had nothing but great things to say about the leader that he is amongst this team. He also said, hey, he has a future in coaching when he wants to finish his playing career. I did ask him, after 100 starts, do you still get nervous? And they threw it right in behind him, but I'll tell you what. I They've been rolling. Does he got some more in him? First and ten from the BC 42. Adams over the middle. Big one all the way down to the 50 to Hatcher again. And Keon Hatcher has been unleashed here in the fourth quarter. Big route into, into the danger area, which is right about here. He's got to protect his receiver. So a second and long after the loss of three for Adams. Game just underway. First possession and over the middle, deep and complete. Finds an open receiver, as he has many times. It is Keon Hatcher with a big first down. The Lions quickly. Mike at 30, a pickup of 28 yards. This is what I mean about the accuracy over the last four or five games from Vernon Adams. He is aiming small and missing small. A few weeks ago against the Ottawa Red Blacks, forcing second and 10 now. Three-man rush. They drop back, and it's complete to Hatcher down. Around first down yardage with 46 seconds on the clock. It is indeed a gain of 11 for Hatcher. Yeah, this would be. Clearly, I jinxed him on that one, by the way. <laughs> the scrimmage from the 51 is trying to get closer, and they do. Yeah. And this will be a low 40s attempt coming up. Some pressure coming. Oh. Chris Edwards coming in, but he doesn't get to Adams, who gets rid of it for a big first down to Keon Hatcher. It is complete across the Lions 50. Last couple of games against the Stamps here and last week at Mosaic. Adams has him on the move here in the second half. Down, a touchdown to lead to Hatcher. Tries to push for the first down. Tunde and Delegate pushes him out. A different play call here, but yeah. Third and one. And completing it to Hatcher. And down closer to the Ticat 40. So the drive does continue. It's onside kick time. First, we got to get to the end zone. A look yes. and a touchdown. Keon Hatcher. Boom. Get him in the hole. Vernon Adams looks like he's right back on track here in 2023. He is second in the CFL in passing yards and passing touchdowns. And he completes that one up across the 40 to get it started to one of his favorite targets. The field corner for the Alouettes, gambling on it. Saw it go through and into the hands of Hollins for his second touchdown. There's a great catch for a touchdown. BC Lions, Keon Hatcher. 
17 yards. It had been a quieter game for Keon Hatcher. We talk about Hollins. Yeah, and you'll see Hatcher here working across the field. To me, this is a terrific throw by Vernon Adams. Goes to his left, but gets his feet set. With a couple of defenders in front of it. of them in two games against Edmonton so they start with him second and four Adams throwing wide open Hatcher and he's got it at the 50 quiet week last week for Hatcher 86 balls thrown in the direction of Hatcher first and 10 from the Edmonton 50 Adams quickly getting it away again right back to Hatcher again and he's got another first down 15 yards this time a lot of leadership on this Lions team he's at the top of your screen Adams in the pocket, gets it away, down the field, and he drops it That's in for who else? It's Hatcher to the 20, all the way down to the 15, still going. Flag on the far side of the field, but Hatcher's taking it down to the five. If you're gonna talk the talk, walk the walk. Locally, and sometimes you lead by example, and in this play, Keon Hatcher does both. As Ryan said, he talks to his offense, he gets, a, gets away from a hold there. Illegal contact, Edmonton. That penalty is declined. First down. To the top of your screen and the right of Vernon Adams. That's where he goes. And is that held on to by Asher? Last week for VA starts here on his own 37. Three options out to his right. Throws to his left, and he's got Hatcher early in this ball game. And that'll be enough for a first down for BC and this Lions starting offense. Adams gets it away, complete just outside the 30, it's Hatcher again, third catch of the game for Hatcher, first down BC. Just one carry for Mizell in this game, it did go for nine yards. Adams from his own end zone, a deep one down the field, the Hatcher drops it in just inside the 40, and he takes it all the way out. On his horse and try and get over there, number 38. And he just got layered. Deep cut. Back to Hatcher. Up to the 40. Fifth catch of the game for number four. BC on their own 40. Lots of time to at least get back within field goal range for Sean White. Adams. Go roll him out to the right here. Hatcher pushes it up the sidelines, and that'll put him over 100 yards in this ball game for Hatcher. That's his fourth 100-yard game. Second and two. Adams loads one up. Another completion just inside the 50 as he goes back to Hatcher. To get him refocused, and it worked. Clock ticking inside 20. Adams, three to his left. Goes over the middle, down the field. Hatcher is over. Touchdown, BC! Lead in the half! And what a half for Hatcher as he's got his sixth touchdown of the season. Deep in the pocket this time, inside on Moncrief. First possession of this half starts on their own 10, and why not go back to what was working so well immediately to Keon Hatcher? This season, be the first time in his career. As a completion to who else? Hatcher. Pink spat. VA also in pink here on second and ten. Three man pressure for the Bombers. VA steps up, finds Keon Hatcher for the first down across midfield at the 45 yard line. Hatcher with his. Had a few second and tens. They have another one here. Again, Winnipeg not showing pressure. Hatcher with the reception. Close to first down yardage. Winnipeg showing pressure. Quick pass to Keon Hatcher to the left side. And a first down for BC. The similarities at. They look. Play action to Hardy here. Vernon thought about running. Slings it outside. Little sidearm release to Hatcher that time. 
17 on the season now. This one completed. Young Hatcher turns and knifes immediately. Nice play and add on the extra yardage is Stavros Katzentonis. High drama here at Tim Hortons Field. Evans completes on first down. Eon Hatcher dives his way forward. Looks like he'll have enough for a first down. He will. I wonder Mark Washington, defensive coordinator, seen so much of Evans in his time in Hamilton. But smooth operator on the first two snaps. Another completion here to Hatcher. Another first down for the Lions. Bad down in distance here. First and 20. Hamilton drops out. BC just tries to get some of it back as Hatcher gets down to the 41. That's an off-season discussion, I think. From the 42, Adams with Carroll. pressure, trying to get away, and he does. Now he drops it over to Hatcher, and he has it in. Are you kidding me? They trip him up just inside the 10. What a play by VA as he connects with Hatcher for 36 yards. Absolutely there. He avoids the pass rush off the edge, steps up, and a great touch throw to drop it over Trey Roberson to Hatcher, who has with a catch from Adams today. Now a little bit of pressure. Adams steps up, throws it over the middle. Another completion, this time to Hatcher. Dozier is there to hang on to him, but a first down for the BC Lions. Composure, managing the pocket, stepping up, almost 200 yards passing, eyes downfield. There's Hatcher. Great look telling Hatcher. Hey. On the 40 for the home side, leading 21-13. Adams, Hatcher, midfield. He's held on to by Griffin, but another big pickup. Yeah, and he's, he's looking for more. He's got lots of time here, two minutes to go. In final three minutes of CFL football, you can get a lot of play. Second and 10 on the Calgary, 29. Adams, tight oh. window, he's got that Come on. What a strike from B.A. Hatcher hauls it in, no problem for catch of the game. Comes in and you can talk about being in this groove, but this is not coverable. You, I mean, you're going to play a zone. You got Cam Judge sitting on one side of it and Mike Alway, who we just mentioned on the inside. Already over 100 yards in this game. Katoy will slide into the slot to the left of Adams. Looks to the right, throws to the right, touchdown! It's Keon Hatcher picking apart the Calgary Stampeders again. And Vernon Adams has two in the air and two on the ground. And coverage. And if you got man-to-man -man coverage, and you got Hatcher on an out route, you have to protect as a DB. The inside route is the easier throw, like a slant or a dig route inside. First and 10 from the BC 52. Adams, pressured, steps up in the pocket. First down inside the 45. Flag on the play. It's coming back a hold against the BC Lions. Yeah for Calgary's defense, thinking they might be able to get off the field with that 20 yards lurking. Now Adams, quick fake, down the field for Hatcher, drops it in there beautifully. That'll put him over 300 yards passing in the ball game. You just can't do it much better. Go oh, to Hatcher right there in the slot. Early in the first quarter, he said plant the seed because they're gonna try and push the ball deep after these short routes what Nathan Rourke has done for Canadians at the quarterback position. I can go up and do that, right? You can, you can, get, you can find him. Adams, speaking of finding somebody, a big one to Hatcher, makes a move, takes it down, just outside the 30. How about if you're Addy M. Merglin and you're trying to figure out which way to track down number three, first of all, he sidearm slings it to Hatcher, who does the rest of the heavy lifting down the field. Ready to head back to IG Field for what should just be a spectacular game. Adams give him 400 yards passing in the ball game.